Hi guys. Now, the world is full of acronyms, unfortunately, and electric cars are no different. We have BEVs, FEVs, HEVs, FUKEVs, and of course, ICE. So in this video, I'm going to explain what all they mean, and I'm also going to explain what a self-charging hybrid... I'm also going to explain what a self... I'm sorry, but every time I use that phrase, a little bit sick comes up. I can do this, I can do this. <clears throat> I'm also going to explain what a self-charging hybrid is and why it's called that and how they can get away with calling it a self-charging hybrid. Because for me, it's a misleading and disingenuous term which shouldn't be allowed. You're going to have to give me a second. Okay, now let's start with the easiest first, a BEV or a BEV. Not that BEV, this BEV. This is a Nissan Leaf, just like a Renault Zoe or a Tesla. They are all BEVs or battery electric vehicles. They are vehicles that have an electric motor and all of the energy is stored in a big battery. It's as simple as that. It's a pretty accurate descriptor for me. Battery electric vehicle, quite straightforward. Next, we have the lesser spotted FCEV, or the fuel cell electric vehicle. This is only available in, well, you can only get one car at the moment, and that is the Toyota Mirai, which is a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. Basically, just like a, a BEV, a battery electric vehicle, it's got an electric motor that moves it forward, but instead of the energy being stored in a big battery, it's been stored in a hydrogen fuel cell hence the term fuel cell electric vehicle, or as I suddenly just this minute decided to call it, a FUKEV. Now let's move on to the hybrids. This is the more complicated one. Uh, I want to stick with two categories on this, plug-in hybrids and normal hybrids, or as Toyota have now started calling them, a self-charging hybrid. Yes, there are kind of other subcategories of hybrids, like hybrids that can run on electric only, hybrids that can't, I'm just interested on the different categories, the plug-in or the non-plug-in. So, what is a self-charging hybrid and why can they call it a self-charging hybrid? Because I have done a video on this before. Basically, a FEV or PHEV, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, is a car with a petrol engine, an electric motor and a small battery that you can plug in. You can charge that battery directly, like you can your, your mobile phone, for example. A hybrid electric vehicle, HEV, or HEV if you like, that is what is now termed as a self-charging hybrid. That is basically the same as a plug-in hybrid, but you cannot plug it in. It's a petrol engine car with an electric motor, a small battery, but you cannot charge it directly. The only way you can charge that battery is through regenerative braking. So when you slow down the car, it recuperates some of that kinetic energy and puts it back in the battery. And depending on the make and model of the uh, hybrid, some of them can also charge the battery directly from the motor, from the engine, sorry. Much like a petrol generator would. Now, because the only way you can charge that battery is by effectively driving the car, it cannot be plugged in, it cannot be charged from your house or anything like that. Technically, the only way it can charge is by charging itself up. All the energy that goes into that battery is from the car moving forward or from the petrol engine. You have no input or way of charging the battery directly. So technically on that sort of term, it is a self-charging hybrid. Now, of course, we all know that all of the energy that goes in that uh, hybrid battery comes from burning petrol. The car moves forward under petrol power by burning petrol, and then the recuperative, regenerative braking puts some power into the battery, which you can then use to make the petrol engine more efficient and perhaps even drive on electric only. But ultimately, all the energy comes from burning petrol. Now, according to Toyota's own research, people were confused and couldn't distinguish between what a hybrid was and a, and a, a plug-in hybrid. In non-marketing speak, they're basically saying that people were too stupid to know the difference between a plug-in hybrid and a non-plug-in hybrid. They were confused. They thought that you had to plug hybrids in. So they thought, well, we have to distinguish these two different categories. We have a self-charging hybrid here and a plug-in hybrid here. 
that's easy to understand. People will get that more. But unfortunately, it's had a different effect for me. A lot of people are thinking that a self-charging hybrid has all the capabilities of a plug-in hybrid and all the efficiencies, but you just don't have to plug it in. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Imagine if my full electric car was self-charging. I wouldn't have to plug it in, but I get all the benefits of it. Oh, that's brilliant. Who wouldn't want that? Now, of course, Toyota said, well, no, no, we didn't say that. We said self-charging, not self-fueling. There is a difference. Uh, and it's not just a marketing term. It's, it, it's a, an accurate descriptor. On the assumption that Toyota are correct and people are confused, then it's no stretch of the imagination to assume that those same people will believe that the car will charge itself somehow, magically. If you park a self-charging hybrid on your drive, uh, it, it won't be able to charge at all. It, it won't, nothing will happen. But some of those people could genuinely think that it somehow magics electric up from somewhere or they're getting free fuel somehow. You know, I don't know how it works. It's just, it's, it's like a plug-in hybrid, but without having to plug in. Brilliant. Now, of course, a plug-in hybrid is far more efficient when utilised properly. It's uh, better for the environment if that bothers you. And ultimately, it's cheaper to run. In all measurable metrics, it is a better, more capable vehicle than just a normal self-charging hybrid equivalent. And of course, you do not need to plug in a plug-in hybrid. It doesn't need plugging in. It has the capability of being plugged in, which makes it more efficient because you're charging the car directly. But you don't have to. You can run it as a normal hybrid, if you will. Every single electric vehicle, including the one I'm in now, which is a Nissan Leaf, a full electric car, is capable of self-charging. My car has regenerative braking, therefore, can I say that my car is self-charging? Can you imagine what would happen if Tesla suddenly started advertising their cars as self-charging capable? I think the media would kick off a bit there, and certainly the Tesla haters would. So it's, it, it's, it's not just a phrase, but it's also the way Toyota have been marketing this that is my biggest issue with it. Because they're giving people the impression, not just with the name, but with the marketing, which I'll come back to in a second, that a self-charging hybrid is better than a plug-in hybrid. I'm not saying it's not cheaper. Of course, a plug-in hybrid is more expensive. A plug-in hybrid can do everything a self-charging one can do with the added advantage of being able to plug in as well. You know, I've just thought of another self-charging uh, hybrid. It's called a bicycle with a dynamo attached to it, like this one. Remember those? I don't think you really get them anymore, but I used to have a bicycle with a dynamo attached, and it used to charge up a little battery, which ultimately went on to power a light if I wanted it to. That, that battery couldn't be charged directly. Basically, I had to pedal the bike to charge the battery up. But because I'm not charging it directly, the bicycle's charging the battery, that must mean that I had a self-charging bicycle. Under Toyota's definition, that is correct. But imagine if that was sold as a self-charging bicycle. You'd go, oh, come on, really? If someone tells me something is self-charging, I would think that would charge itself without human intervention. But if you do not drive that car, it won't be able to charge. Leave it parked up for a month. See how much charge it gets then. The answer will be zero. Now, onto the marketing. This is an advert which is playing out on UK TV and online, possibly in other countries uh, on their TV as well. Obviously, I, I don't know that, so let me know in the comments if you've seen it on your TV in America, for example. Uh, and basically, it's like any other car advert. I'll put most of it up here, and it's the usual sort of thing where a car is flying past other cars, and in this particular advert, it's going past progressively newer technology. So it starts off with old stuff, and then you eventually go through the 70s and 80s and 90s and the car is breezing past all these by basically saying this is newer technology that you clearly see tailpipe emissions uh, being displayed and then it focuses on the hybrid logo so that they're going it's green it's better which we're giving the impression of by accelerating past them all but it's the end of the advert which for me is the most interesting part here it is now and look it's a guy waiting next to his car that is plugged in. Hmm. So we've got, uh, let, let's imagine a plug-in hybrid. Again, that doesn't need to be plugged in, but it can be. Uh, he is waiting there because we all stand next to our cars when they're charging, don't we? But yeah, forgetting that, they are basically showing a self-charging hybrid flying past 
a car that is plugged in as the guys just stood there waiting like this so that is deliberately giving the impression to me and to the general public I would imagine that that is a better option for you that it is a better car it is more capable look it's a hybrid it's green it's passing all these other cars and it's passing the car that's plugged in and what I find immensely interesting is that the UK TV version of that advert which is shorter doesn't have that bit in at the end the bit in with the guy plugging into his car and waiting that is cut out it's almost as if the advertising regulations on UK TV uh, are more strict more stringent than those on the internet don't get me wrong there is a, a market out there there is a people that will suit a normal self-charging hybrid over anything else because maybe they can't charge at home it's a more efficient than a petrol engine I'm not slating hybrids I'm just saying that people need to be informed about what they are buying about what they're spending tens of thousands of pounds on I know what they're saying yes it's only capable of charging itself therefore that's where the name comes from but you, you won't get away with that anything else would you Tesla wouldn't get away with it Nissan wouldn't get away with it on their full electric cars when I asked Toyota this, they said, well, yeah, but you have to plug in your car, otherwise it cannot self-charge. You have to put petrol in to your car, otherwise it cannot charge. How is it any different? So this is why I've kind of gone on this mini rant and ultimately done a video on trying to explain what all these different types of electrified vehicles are. We have a BEV, battery electric vehicle, a FEV, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, a HEV, or self-charging hybrid, hybrid electric vehicle and of course the the car that you're probably not likely to see on any roads at least in the near future is the fuel cell electric vehicle every single car i have mentioned there every single one of them this one the hybrids the plug-in hybrids all of them are capable of self-charging so it is clearly not a unique selling point to the car it's just i mean it's worked brilliantly don't get me wrong the amount of people and messages i've got since this self-charging campaign has launched. I mean, for example, I've just talked to someone not an hour ago who said, oh, I'm thinking about getting an electric car and we're talking about the YouTube channel. And they said, oh, but I think I'll go for the self-charging hybrid. It seems a lot better. Get all the benefits of the plug-in hybrid, but without having to plug it in. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, hang on a minute there. Let me explain this to you. So I've just explained it to them and then they've gone, you know what, I, I kind of feel a little duped and, and maybe a little silly. If you feel like that, if you feel like you bought a hybrid, a self-charging hybrid, and now you know what they actually are, and you think, well, hang on a minute, I, I thought they were better than the... No, I, th I, th I feel like I've been conned a little bit here. Please let me know if you've done that. Am I being harsh? For me, why don't we have a plug-in hybrid and a no-plug-in hybrid? It's a far more accurate description for me, but it doesn't sound very good, does it, of course? Self-charging hybrid... Is a, is a, it's a genius term. I, I credit to the PR department on that. Whoever came up with that one deserves a pay rise. Right, so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much done there. Thank you for watching. Again, please, let's generate some comments on this one. I want to know what you think. Am I just mounting out of a ball hill? Or is this a valid point? So, yes, thank you for watching, guys. I will uh, see you soon, and bye-bye. Uh,